What's up, guys? It's Chad Lance. Today's stream is freaking awesome doing version carries. I did it with Ninja 12 Coco, Skeekin, and a guy named Jada Hawk. Skeekin actually I recently played with for the first time on Friday, and Jada Hawk I played with the first time today. Actually, both guys, awesome dudes. Ninja obviously is an awesome dude as well, so it's a pleasure playing with all three of them all throughout the day. We actually got a bunch of people follow us for the first time, which was freaking sick. We ran into one little issue where somebody said that they had the card with no losses on it and boons attached to it. I asked if he had all three boons attached, and he said, yes when we started the first card we unfortunately failed the card later on uh, i kind of lost it due to lag because somebody on a 4-4 round i got him killed and another guy dead with his supercharge and he spawned with his orb way off on the other corner of the freaking map so the guy free res because the orb spawned on the other side of the map and i couldn't cover the other guy because i had to make sure this guy was dead but it took a while because of lag issues i had to make sure he was dead i had to hit him a few more times and then they were able to get free revives and then get more supers put towards us and that just it freaking sucked so we lost that card in that round that was pretty bs but we went to go and reset the card and we like all right you know we lost a mercy and that was our second loss so we got to reset a card so we said all right we got our cards reset did you get a fresh card and with three boons attached to the new card and god said yes so we're like all right cool let's go on for this next attempt and we're like four wins in and we lose our fifth match and uh it's kind of one of those games where this guy is a really hard carry or running into really good players so it's kind of difficult to do a 2v3 but when we lost that game we're like all right you know whatever that was a mercy we we'll need win three more we can probably do that but then it said one player didn't have access to the activity and his name was flashing and we're like bro did you just delete your card he's like no i didn't delete my card but i didn't go to the reef get a new one and we're like why do you need to go to the reef get a new card for you must have just deleted your card right because we had no potential thought process that he could have just lied to us and didn't buy boons and he's like no i got three losses on my card i gotta go reset it and we're like all right, bro, you not only just lied to us saying you reset the card and bought boons on it, but you also lied to us in saying that freaking you bought boons in the first place for the first card. Because we've only lost three games and you now have three losses instead of just two because it would have been mercy on the third. So like, bro, you just kind of wasted our time, you know, wasted our time, wasted our viewers' time because we're just playing five games just now for no reason. And it's an incredibly aggravating experience, but you don't want to like blow up on a viewer, you know, you're trying to help him out. Maybe, you know, he was just ignorant and had no idea that buying boons meant going into inspecting the passage card purchasing all three picket boons inside the card and if we call it we're going to go reset a card that means we're going to actually get rid of our old card and get a new card and get new boons on it which with what i was asking alongside of asking did you reset a card with no losses on the new one and with boons attached to it i'm saying words like new one no losses on it boons attached to it there's like key words you pick up on even if you don't know the other lingo right so he just wasn't clearly paying attention to me for the most part and you're just like yeah i'm good yeah i'm ready but bro, if you didn't understand and didn't know what we're talking about, just say you don't know what we're talking about and we'll be more than happy to explain it for you and help you out. We gotta explain how a lot of processes work about trials cars, how raffles work, all that stuff, all throughout the day, every trials day. So we don't mind explaining how to get boons and stuff. But what we do mind is you lying, acting like you know what we're talking about, and then wasting our time. That freaking sucks. So we're like, all right, man, you kind of just lied to us twice and kind of wasted our time, but we're gonna give you one more shot. And if we don't go for flawless on this next card, then we'll have to move on to the next viewer. For the sake of time, people are waiting who actually know how to purchase boons, etc. And he's like, all right, man, sorry about that. And we go down the card and we actually end up losing and failing the card we were like one or two games away from being successful so like dang you know and it's one of those guys who only gets like zero to one kill per game at most and it was really slow for getting revives and stuff like that i didn't really know have good reaction times etc which is fine we're down to help you guys out as much as we can but considering the fact we actually probably would have gone false on that second attempt if you actually bought boons which meaning turns out we were actually going against lighthouse tier enemies that entire freaking time it's just frustrating aggravating more so that than the fact that he was a really hard carry being a real hard carry that's fine man if you're not good at pvp it's cool but just for the sake of time and trying to get on and help out more viewers if you're really not pulling your weight and we're giving you like three card attempts total and we spent like three hours or more on trying to help you then it's kind of one of the things we kind of need to go on and try to help somebody else out who to be frank is performing at a higher skill level to quote unquote deserve the lighthouse more i really hope everybody experiences the lighthouse it'd be freaking sick but if you're not at that level of play yet then go and practice up 
and try again next time and we'll be able to hopefully get you flawless then you know so a lot of people waiting trying to go for their chance at the card so we don't want to keep them waiting all day long just because we run into a wall trying to help one person it's one of those crappy things for a person who does streams for trials carries is because you want to help this guy you want to go constantly and just grind it out and make sure that guy goes flawless because you told him you want to get them flawless and they want to go flawless and they think you can do it for them uh, simply that's just not how life works you know and sometimes you just gotta say hey go practice up go get some more coins whatever we'll try to help you out in a later date you know but regardless of that don't lie to us saying you know about something when you really don't because that straight up wastes our time instead of just being a bad player being a bad player isn't wasting our time we're trying to go flawless but lying to me and then burning a card basically is definitely wasting my time and that's pretty rude. So that was actually a pretty frustrating experience, but you know what? We moved on from it. Learning lesson for that guy. Don't lie, acting like you know about something. Ask questions if you're not sure what's going on. But outside of that though, we were successful on every single card and it felt freaking great today. I've been playing fantastically all weekend long, which isn't really like, fluffing my own ego or anything i'm just saying like it's been more lighthearted. i've gone into cards and the entire streams with a more positive outlook not stressed out of worrying oh god i hope i don't lose today and hope we can just go and hard carry these people or whatever i'm just going to do the best i can and just focusing on one round at a time and that's honestly helped me a lot with actually performing better which is one thing to keep in mind that when you go into a match if you lack confidence or you're stressed out or you're like moody or negative mindset or whatever then you're probably going to play it worse and probably end up losing i'm sure you'll win some more games for sure but you'll lose more often than you win and not only for your own play that's being affected but you're also affecting the mindset and morale and play of all your teammates as well so i still got a ways to go because i have recent issues with negative mindsets but we're improving and honestly i think overall this weekend i've done a lot better at it after the stream was great i actually hung out in the fam's uh, discord we have our own private discord channel and we actually were talking and we found out that the little gump hasn't seen the true man show yet so we use that rabbit tv thing website where you can watch netflix together or whatever i've never really personally used it or set anything up i just kind of click a link and i'm there we basically all just watch netflix together and it's really freaking cool we watched the truman show which is an amazing jim carrey movie gump loved it it's in my probably top 10 movies of all time just because it's so unique it properly provides light-hearted comedy as well as dark tones of like reality and like twisted like unique storylines and stuff it's just a freaking awesome movie so definitely recommend watching that if you haven't done so already that movie also has the actor paul giamatti in it and we decided while watching it that our friend wally pinkerton actually looks and acts just like paul giamatti so we all after the movie went into his stream and we're just like paul giamatti raid and we like spammed his chat and it was freaking hilarious and he was just like i don't know what's happening here but apparently i'm paul giamatti <laughs> it's freaking hilarious dude so shout out to wally pinkerton i'll have his twitch link in the description below because i love that guy he's awesome he plays like rock music bangs it out uh hang banging on stream and stuff sometimes he plays rock band destiny and overwatch as far as i know just those three games he actually met our community got integrated into it by going to our destiny streams and he's actually like a mod for the little gump and stuff overall super cool dude so i definitely recommend checking him out he's a super late night streamer he streams like in the straight up am hours like 3 a.m. until like 7 or 8 a.m. my time Eastern. So if you're ever up really late, you need a really cool guy to hang out with, dude who likes to share stories and talk to you and have conversations with viewers, definitely the guy you want to check out. That's it for this vlog. Thank you so much for being you. And thank you as always, citizens, for watching.